Hey, hey, everybody. This is Larry. This is me doing the bonus question. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, draw me on Discord. Well, wrong button. Um, yeah, so as you know, I do an extra poem um, because I usually have done it. Let's see if I get one because usually they give me, I, I try to do a random question that I haven't done before, hence the to do. And then we'll see how that goes. Hope everyone's having a great week. Um, I've been just planning on going on a, on a Turkey trip. So definitely if you have been Turkey or have been in Turkey or you're Turkish, uh, leave me some tips in the comments or come to Discord or Instagram, whatever you like. We'd love to hear from you. Anyway, uh, today's poem is 962 Maximum with Ramp. So a ramp of injuries in I sub J, but I is greater than J, or I is less than J, whoops. And okay, so ramp is I minus J. Okay, maximum width. So five and one. The width is. Oh, 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 wait, it's index five, one and five, not the numbers one and five. Okay, that makes sense. So basically, what I want is for every left, for every J, right? We have to find an I such that this is the case. But for I, for I, we can, hmm, how do we do it? I mean, it shouldn't be just binary search in a way. Because basically, you want the leftmost number that is smaller than this number, right? Is what our repeated query would want. Um... Yeah, and I think this is one of those. Um, hmm. I think it's one of the mono stack problems. I think maybe or mono queue maybe. No mono stack, because um, the idea here is that you, um, there, and I'm just trying to suss out a little bit, but there's some um, uh, invariant property where okay. So what's this, is the number smaller than one? No. Is the number smaller than zero? No. Is the number smaller than one? Yes, yeah, zero. Okay, that's good. Is the number smaller than nine? Um, then here, that's the thing, right? Is that you go all the way to eight. Mm, maybe that mono stack here doesn't make sense, actually. Um, but then you still have all these numbers. The one doesn't, you know, the nine doesn't improve anything. So then the four. But then I think this becomes... Because, I mean, you're almost like a, a binary search and it's going to be a decreasing sequence because it doesn't make sense. Because every number that, for example, this one, well, this will never be the answer to any query to the right, right? And that's and I kind of guessed manual stack, but maybe I'm wrong. But the idea is actually very close, is that the one will never be the right answer because if you choose this one, you might as well choose this one, right? Um, or... Yeah, so this one will never be the right answer. Nine will never be the right answer for that way. Or at least it will never be a correct I. And then this four, for example, will never be a correct I. Zero will never be a correct I. And then that's it, right? Um, and the idea is that, well, if you have another smaller number, so let me write it out here. If you have another smaller number, let's say you have, say, negative five. I mean, I know that this is positive numbers only or non-negative, but, you know, this is just, it, does, it shouldn't matter. Um, you know, and here, well, the negative five is the only one that matters, right? And then because of that, then now we can remove all these numbers because negative five matters because if you get a number later that's negative five or 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 bigger or between negative five and negative zero or negative five and zero, then it would have you know this this number is the answer, right? Um, and in that sense, this is going to be just monotonically decreasing secrets and. It's not a model stack because you don't need to pop, but it's the same idea. Now you could just do a binary search on it. Um, this is a medium, but I find that this is a very hard medium unless I'm missing an obvious solution. So, hmm. Yeah, so let's, let's, let's do that then. So here we go, I, I'm gonna call it, um, hmm. <laughs> naming stuff is harder. So yeah, so let's just say prefix then. And then for, I X in enumerate nums. Um, so basically, now we do a binary search. What do we search on? We search on X, right? And 
And because we can assume that this is monotonically decreasing, then, um, then when we binary search, we want the number, yeah, we know, and we know that the, the number that is, um, this number or bigger will be that number, right? Uh, or like it will have the correct index because by definition, if you go, if you could go more to the left, you would have, and it would have been a smaller number. So, okay. Uh, yeah. Uh, actually, one thing that I did make a mistake on is I didn't look at the constraints because if this is n square, both, then, it, you know, we should have just done it n square, maybe. Uh, at least in terms of, you know, like, I mean, I guess you don't have to. Uh, you know, you should still upsell, but in theory, on a the contest, that's what I would do. Um, but yeah, okay. And here, I'm going to write this in a little bit of a weird way, just because uh, it's easier to binary search from left to right, than decreasing from right to left, or you do like negative numbers, and, and that's just like, you know. So I'm going to do something weird and make it a tag. This is so that I can add from to the front. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if this is a good idea, but anyway. So yeah, so then prefix dot, uh, or binary search dot left, because we want the number that's uh, the same, and then we just have x and negative 20 or something like this. Uh, or neg negative one is fine. Maybe I don't have to go. So then this is index, right? If index, So yeah, so if index is less than length of prefix, then we know that, oh, we have to keep track of our best variable, which is, uh, we want minimum, right? So let's just say negative infinity. I guess best is equal to zero because that's what we return anyway. Okay, fine. Um, if this is the case, then we could get the index, which is at prefix of index and then this is we want the second element so yeah so that's the actual i oops i guess maybe i'll just use this as j right and then best is you go to the max of j minus i right and then now if so now we, we try to figure out where we put this number in and if length of prefix is zero or prefix of negative one, the, the smallest element. If this element is bigger than X, then we append. Oh, uh, we, oh, I guess it, uh, I'm so used to doing it like in a normal way, but I think we, we, we reverted away for this reason. So, yeah, okay, so this should be zero then. Um, then we uh, append left of X and J. Right? And this is so that it can be used in the future. And I think that's pretty much it. Maybe I have some typos, but I think ideally, ideally uh, an idea, this should be right. Oh, I forgot to, like I said, some typos. Now, oh, hmm, why did I get five? Dong, dong, dong. Okay, so one, two. Uh, I is zero. Well, this is clearly not right. Oh, hmm. Maybe I did this a little bit weird. Let me think about this for a second. Um, eh, the way that we did it is a little bit weird with the binary search, so that's why I have to double check. But, of course, the index would give me the number that's bigger. Um, okay, so we want to bisect right and then minus one. I think that's maybe what we want. Hmm, still wrong answer, huh? So because two, zero, one, two, okay, that's right. Three is one, that's good. Four is one, five is one. Okay, so this one's good. And then now the second answer, 
Uh, why are we getting it wrong? <laughs> so we have these four, it doesn't do anything. And then this one, so this should print a four and then two, but then it goes four, three instead because hmm. oh because of this thing so this one should be infinity instead i think because we changed it a little bit and then it uh the bisect left and the bisect right doesn't mean anything anymore because because it's a topo so it matters about the second element more but uh, i think now this is good yeah okay it's a it's a lot of nuance with stuff but i think this is okay so yeah so now let's give it a submit but this is kind of hard to be honest uh i mean it's not hard hard but it's hard. it feels like it's a little bit hard for medium but i don't know i don't know if there's an easier one but yeah this is gonna be n log n i wonder if there is a i wonder if there's a o of n solution but yeah this is gonna be n log n time o of n space for the prefix uh, and i did implement this in an awkward way hope that's okay but um but yeah uh that's pretty much it let me know what you think i'm so tired for some reason you know i slept all day but uh stay good stay healthy to good mental health i'll see y'all later and take care bye bye